Hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So I want to start by saying this. Make it make sense. I just, th that that's literally like the whole point of this video. I literally need somebody to make it make sense. So you know, this is like my third video on Jay-Z. And the only reason why is because I'm very interested in what is going on in that whole situation. So yesterday it came out, press release came out saying that... <sighs> Jay-Z is pretty much going to, to help with the Inspire program, they are going to start off by throwing a concert in Chicago with Meek Mill and Mech, boom, uh, the All About That Bass Chick, and they're going to sell t-shirts, and the proceeds are going to go to some some charity and then they're gonna have a song that's gonna be the song of a game or a song of a month jay-z just don't make no sense okay so if y'all go if y'all got my other videos on this i really was trying to get from the benefit of the doubt because we did not know the details we did not know the details but at this point from what we know if this is what it is which is what a lot of people thought it was gonna be jay-z you could have kept this and this is my this is my this is my only reason why why did you need the nfl to do this i'm i'm if i'm talking about simply about putting together a concert selling stuff to give back you did not need the NFL to do that. You could have did that on your own. You throw Made in America. I think, I believe that's the festival that he throws. So you throw Made in America once a year. So you're trying to tell me that with your brain and your power and all of that other stuff that you couldn't do that on your own. You couldn't just on your own, Rock Nation by yourself, throw a free concert in cities that really need it, like Chicago, and then take the proceeds and give it to them. Why in the did you need the NFL to do that? So all this further lets me know is that this really was about business. Yes, it's about both business and trying to help, but it's definitely more so about business because I don't understand how this helps. I don't, I don't, I am literally thoroughly confused. I need somebody to make it make sense for me because at this particular point, no you i will honestly say in my opinion this whole situation is the biggest misstep that jay-z has ever made that's just my opinion next to the whole thing with rockefeller and how he treated dame this right here is the biggest misstep that you took because it at this point from what we're getting from this this literally was just for you to be able to walk through an nfl door or for you to be able to um you know get whatever doors you need to get into and get whatever bag it is that you need to get as far as this is concerned throwing concerts okay throwing concerts for people who nine times out of ten look like us are going to go to to sell merchandise that nine times out of ten people who look like us is gonna buy so you want us to buy stuff so that you can try to give it to us like d d d ma again make it make sense and also like somebody said i need to know what charities are y'all talking about how much is gonna go to it because you got massive charities out here where the majority of the money go to the staff and, and running the place and all that other stuff and maybe like five percent of it go to the actual you know um foundation itself to the actual cause why couldn't I, I just don't understand why he couldn't have not done this this himself what is the difference between you and rock nation doing this on your own versus the nfl more money that's what the difference is that's what the difference is as people keep saying colin still don't got no damn job he still don't got no job and all the details that we're getting so far has this has said nothing about jay-z get into any type of fucking position that really fucking matters so the point of the matter is that you jay-z were used as a prop to pacify the rest of the black community so that they as the nfl did not have to look at what they were doing or think about what it is that they were doing and also people keep bringing this up and it's so true you know divide and conquer 
that's the best way to to divide and conquer. So when they put you out there, right, Jay-Z, that makes everybody else, that makes a lot of people side-eye calling now. So now you got people like um, Marcellus Wiley on his show or on somebody's show going off talking about how Cap isn't good enough because he's not even fully black, which I could really go in on that whole point, but I'm not going to even do it. That's one of the dumbest things I've ever heard. Like, so now you got people who are either saying, so now they got us exactly where they want. They got some people, they got half of us on the side where it's like, oh no, we're going to rock with Jay-Z. And the other half like, no, we're not rocking with Jay-Z and fuck the rest of y'all. It's to divide and conquer. And the fact that you could not see this, be, you probably could see this maybe, but you were just so concerned about your pockets that it makes absolutely no sense to me and i really don't get again because i will i never I've, I've never in my life had that much money i don't think i ever will but for you to be so greedy about it you are worth about a billion dollars and if you throw beyonce on there maybe almost like 1.5 billion probably and you are that greedy as far as money is concerned that you really feel the need to go and get in bed with them for what and you could come on and be like, oh, I know, I know that they're using me. Oh, I know that they're using me. You clearly you don't. Because what are you getting out of the situation? How is how is you throw how is it that throwing concerts and selling t-shirts are gonna fix number one police brutality? And not just that, but how is that gonna fix what the hell goes on within the NFL? Like my thing is take away the police brutality part, right? Even though that's what we're here for. What about any of this will change? What the hell goes on in the NFL? What about this will change the fact that if somebody like Colin ever does some shit like this again, they will not have a fucking job. They will get ridiculed. It doesn't, I, again, make it make sense. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Calvin Michael said this, shout out to his YouTube, and I told him I was going to steal this because I think it's so powerful. Jay-Z was literally symbolism used to be passed off as activism and if that ain't the truest thing i've ever heard it's facts and i seen what cat put out on his instagram and everything that everybody's saying is facts. it does not make sense jay-z it does not make sense you could have done this on your own so the only reason that you would get with the nfl to do this is so that you can get through certain doors that you couldn't get through before and again it's that's fine but say that that's the whole thing if that was your whole goal to try to get through some doors in the nfl because you do that um you know, he got his sports agency and stuff. That's perfectly fine. But then say that. Don't try to make it seem like, oh, I'm out here trying to help us all. This is that. When that's not the case at all. You're trying to line your pockets. And I'm very, 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 very disappointed in the words of Tyrese. I've never had to yell at a girl like this in my life. I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm so disappointed in him. Like, but... I'm disappointed, but I'm not, like, completely, like, heartbroken because I don't know celebrity run my life that much. But I do think it's very disgusting and it's annoying that he's really trying to pass it off as something else. We see what the fuck it is. Just say you was trying to get the bag. Like, y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comments. I'm not lying.